Okay, folks, uh, what you're looking at over here to your left is a laying worker colony. Um, a laying worker colony lays unfertilized eggs. So therefore, you get a whole box full of drones. It's kind of worthless. Um, if you have a laying worker colony, it would only be a matter of time before it falls on its face and they die. So it's best that as soon as you notice it, you try and resolve the problem. That's what we're going to do today. What you see in front of me is a nuke. Uh, the bees that are covering the frame in the laying worker hive will easily fit in the nuke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake the bees out of the laying worker hive. I'm going to shake them down here on the ground. Let them walk back in. But when they walk back in, they're going to find a big difference. You see, this laying worker colony just a few minutes ago was sitting right here. So this is their normal location. When they walk back in this time, they're going to smell fertile brood. That's going to be a whole different game plan for them. Um, you see in their laying worker colony, the brood that they smell, like I say, is unfertilized. So when they walk in here and they smell that fertile brood, it's going to wake them up. You're also going to notice back here on the corner of this nuke, I've got a virgin queen laying here in a cage. I'm also going to go ahead and introduce that. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, see how this goes. Get you back far enough that you can see the whole operation. I'm going to kind of take a quick peek and make sure I don't see a queen, but in the previous inspections, I did not see any. I uh, don't really see any now, taking a quick look. So what's going to happen is these bees are going to start to march eventually and go right back up into here. What I've got here is a frame with some food on it. It's also got some brood. I'm going to throw it in here. I'll go ahead and give you a quick peek of this frame. This frame contains eggs, open brood, cat brood, a little bit of honey. I do not want to introduce those frames with the laying worker brood on it. I want to take those in the house, stick them in the freezer for 24 hours, and then I can reinstall them. These frames are just comb. You go ahead and stick them in there and give the bees something to cling to. I'm going to take my virgin queen and I'm going to stick her right here between these frames. Now I'm going to start to force them up in. Once they figure out where to go, the march will start, and I think they're discovering that right now. You can see a few starting to go. It won't take long for the rest of these start to march right in. You'll also notice that there's a few of them congregating around the entrance of this hive. So a few may join that, but we're going to get the bulk of them going in here. Now I used this same technique about see about a month ago to fix a lane worker colony and uh, worked brilliantly. But the secret is is the pheromones when they walk back in. Totally different than they were when they were ejected from their hive. 
or rejected, sent packing. So in about, oh, six hours, I'll come back out here and release that Virgin Queen from her cage manually. And then maybe tomorrow, the next day, I'll take a quick peek, make sure they didn't harm her. And in most cases, if the queen is still fine, that means this plan's working. If I get in there and the queen's dead, I'm going to assume that a laying worker killed her and that this is not working. Start over. Meanwhile, while those ladies are climbing in, here's what's going on on the inside. They're starting to fill in. They're covering the brood frame. Um, our virgin doesn't seem to have any company yet. Oh, yeah, she does. That's good. So that is step one, folks. Um, I'll probably just leave four frames in there for the next couple days. Um, it will be very important that I get the fifth frame in there, though. And once the queen starts laying, uh, they could draw that extra space out with comb, and it could make a mess for me. So, so it's been about five hours. The sun was a blasting. It's still extremely humid, muggy. Um, Clouds are starting to roll in, uh, and they're talking about chances of some pop-up storms. So, I'm going to take a minute here and just pop this open. Uh, I'm not going to use any smoke. I'm going to take my time, open it up, and I want to look at this uh, queen cage and see how they're responding. Um, see if the queen's still alive, first of all. Uh, make sure they didn't sting her through the screen. Um, if she's still alive... Um, and they seem to not be balling up on the cage trying to suffocate her or anything like that, then I'm just going to go ahead and release her. And then I'm going to observe their actions as she walks out of the cage. So let's move in a little closer. Let's take our time. There doesn't seem to be an overwhelming response to the cage so far. The queen is still alive. Um, you remember I had this covered in crystallized sugar. That's now been eaten. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this cell cup. Give the queen a chance to walk out on her own. And uh, We'll pay close attention how the bees respond once she comes out. Okay, folks, it's been 24 hours since I uh, shook the bees out of this colony. Um, yesterday evening, I came out and released the queen. Um, I observed that she just kind of walked down on the frames. None of the bees paid much attention to her. So that left a pretty good feeling in me that she was going to be all right today. I'm going to take a quick peek and uh, see how she's looking, see how things look. Um... I tried to get the process of releasing the queen on video. Little did I know that my camera was going to crap out right in the middle of it. Uh, the camera's since been fixed, and we're going to go in now and see how things are looking. Um, not that smoke will play any interference on this process. I'm just lazy and don't feel like getting the smoker out. So the frame that I added of brood, this medium frame, um, they seem to be caring for the brood. Um, that's a good sign. I'm going to kind of try and find the queen, but at the same time, the virgins can be very, very hard to find. They're not much different in size. So we'll take a quick peek here and see if we can see her. right here right there still alive folks 24 hours ago this was a laying worker colony 
now they've got brood. They've got a virgin queen that they are not killing. Um, you can't tell me this ain't working. Um, what I would like to happen is that queen, which I still see her, right here, right in front of my finger, got a big black butt. There she goes over the top of the frame. She's doing fine. I think this is going to work just fine, just like it did for me earlier in the summer. So I'm going to drop this back in here. Put these frames back together. And I'm going to take one of the frames from the freezer that had a bunch of brood that the laying workers laid. And I'm going to place it right over here on this side. Since it's been in the freezer, the bees can clean out that old brood and they'll start to use that once the queen starts to lay. Okay, so here's the frame from the freezer. See it's got a little food capped off. It's got some wet nectar here in this corner. And it's about the same on the back. I'll go ahead and drop the brood side towards the bees so they can start cleaning that up. Now you wouldn't want to put this frame back in here if you didn't stick it in the freezer to kill that brood. And then you're just going to add laying worker pheromones back to it. So make sure you freeze that frame. We'll close it back up. Okay folks, we're back out here at the laying worker colony. It's been roughly 13 days since I added the cage queen, the frame of brood, um, since then, I've made a couple inspections, um, including my last one the other day, where I noticed some eggs. Um, so I believe the queen's laying. We're going to go in now, verify that, and if she is, we're going to mark her, and we're going to call this a success. If she's not laying, or mated, maybe not even present, maybe she got lost when she went out on her mating flight, um, the eggs could be from a laying worker. So I didn't take time the other day, I just seen some eggs and uh, thought that was exciting. So I didn't really pay much attention to the location of the egg in the cell to see if it was a laying worker or a queen. Um, sometimes people get confused when they're looking at laying worker eggs versus a queen egg. Um, a queen will lay on the bottom of the cell, usually right in the middle. A laying worker is not long enough to lay in the middle of the cell, so usually they're off to the side of the cell. Um, just a little something there to look for. So let's get in here real quick, pop this sucker open, and see how things are looking. I'm excited. I always start on the outside edge so I don't harm my potential queen. And I'm gonna say she's probably not on that frame. And I'm gonna set it over here to the side. Next frame. I see some pollen. I see some wet nectar that they're bringing in. So I'm going to call this a food frame. And just go ahead and say she's probably not going to be on this frame either. Um, I've been wrong about that before in the past. But we'll see this time. Okay, on my medium frame, I can see, I gotta hold it up to my, where some sun catches the frame. I see an egg. Let's see, several eggs. And another tip on a laying worker, 
they don't usually have the greatest laying pattern. So they might lay an egg here, go over here and lay an egg, go up here and lay an egg, come back down here and lay an egg. Um, as for an active queen that's mated, she's going to have eggs scattered out in all those cells, all around each other. So the eggs I'm seeing are in the center of the bottom of the cell and they are close together. So that makes me think I've got a mated queen. The only situation I've got now is to find her because she's black and I just have the darndest trouble finding them black queens. So we'll see if we can uh, locate this beauty and get her marked. Right here is your queen. Laying an egg right in front of you. You know what that means, folks? That means this is no longer a laying worker colony. This is an active colony now. So you're pulling up, you laid her egg, she's done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark this one. She went. So there you go, folks. That's how you fix a laying worker colony. And we're looking at a frame of worker brood in the same colony that had the laying worker issue. So this is uh, just shows. My little uh, fix for fixing the laying worker colony with a virgin queen did work. It's the second time this year this method has worked. It's not the greatest brood pattern. It's not horrible. Um, definitely better than the situation that it was in. And uh, that's a good thing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're not a subscriber, please take time to do so and make sure you click on that little bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Um, I really look for this video to help out a lot of people and uh, that's a good thing. So uh, if you're in a beekeeping community of any sort, share this video with them. It's liable to uh, help them out a lot, maybe now, maybe in the future. If you like the video, throw me a big old thumbs up and that'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other beekeepers to find. If you'd like to support my channel, go down in the description of this video and check out my affiliate links. Um, I appreciate anything you might uh, purchase and uh, the support of my channel. Thanks for watching, folks.